Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the full moon. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for around the full moon? What do we have for around the full moon? Seven of Cups, consequences, choices. Be careful. Be careful with your choices because there will be consequences. Choose wisely. Do you really want to do that? You have other options. Have you explored all the options? Beware of false beginnings. What you own, owns you. Remember that. Choose wisely. You are going to be presented with another option or a few other options. Take time to think about your choice. Pause. Ooh, two of wands reversed. Now this is a level of indecision. Yeah, you're going to be stuck. Torn between two paths in particular. Somebody's having a hard time choosing, right? They are. They're having a very tough time choosing what they're going to do. There's fear of change. Somebody's choosing the safest option. But now they're presented with something something new. They're presented with a new opportunity or something um, alluring, put it that way. Somebody is presented with something else. But there's, right now they're choosing the safest option. They're in the safest situation, right? And there's a lot of fear of the unknown. So somebody is staying put, deciding not to go, being held back by fear. Definitely being held back by fear. The chariot reverse. So that was just a clarification card. So, there's lack of determination, lack of willpower, lack of mental strength. Somebody is not able to master their emotions. Uh, they're denying, they're in some sort of denial. Unable to take charge, in a state of confusion. Uh, very confused. We got somebody here whose emotions are all over the place because now they have this other option. Okay? It's right in front of them. Okay? And it's a time, it's a time of change, but this individual would rather play it safe than take the high road. And there's an opportunity to take the high road or to take another road, but stepping outside of your comfort zone is another story. All right. The chariot reverse stuck again, stuck, stopped. There could be anger. Somebody could have an emotional outburst because... You know, they're not able to make a move. Somebody maybe, maybe something is in the way. Something is in the way of this person making a move. But there is definitely an option. You know, all this person has to do is find their mental strength and the determination and their willpower to remove that blockage out of the way. So somebody is being blocked. It's like their path is being blocked perhaps by another person or a situation. But there is definitely an opportunity to go down that path if you can find the determination to do so. So somebody is, is definitely stuck. Okay. Um, lack of, of willpower. Fear. A lot of fear. Deciding not to go. Staying put. Somebody is staying put in a situation that... Uh, 
isn't going to bring them success, put it that way. It's not going to end successfully. They may be buying some time by staying here. They're just wasting time in reality. Somebody's wasting time. Ugh. They have to go down another path. They're being told to, but they're just choosing not to. Because right now they're safe. It's safe. There's lack of discipline here. Lack of control. Emotions are all over the place. This is like a disaster ahead as well. And this could be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. So something could happen very suddenly with the two of wands reversed. A five of swords. Now the five of swords is betrayal, defeat, feeling defeated. Um, win, win, lose, lose. Can't win. Well, that's what I heard. Can't win. It's a lose situation. You know, it's like you can't have both. You have to make a choice. Somebody has to make a choice. They can't go both ways. You, you're at that point where you have to make a choice. This Five of Swords card is weird. This hurts. It looks like it hurts. It looks like it's a painful choice by the looks of things. Um... Very, very painful. There's some sort of competition here as well. A lot of competition. It feels like so we have somebody here that is wants to win, wants to win at all costs, doesn't want to deal with confrontation, uh, which is interesting. Confrontational. This is like a battle, okay? It is. So I, I wonder if there's going to be a fight or a battle, an upcoming fight. Somebody's going to lose. By look, obviously there's going to somebody's going to lose. Anyhow, um, it feels like we have somebody here that doesn't really have any morals either. This is somebody that is uh, out of control. Could be a control freak, you know lacks morals, lacks a moral conscience, has a hard time doing the right thing. Or has a hard time honoring their truth, mastering their emotions, going in the right direction because of fear, which is interesting. Now, this is a card of ego. Five of Swords is a so somebody may have a very fragile ego, you know? That's why they're staying in the safe, you know, in the safety zone wherever it is that they're safe. They're deciding not to go someplace. Somebody is deciding not to go. Or they're deciding not to choose the better option because they're, they're I mean, they may be fear, afraid of being rejected or ridiculed or humiliated. There could be some sort of a humiliation. This is fear. There could be some humiliation. Um, definitely stay in put. Definitely, we have somebody here that is is staying in a very troubled situation. It's 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 tough. It's very tough, and they're blocking their emotions for sure. Somebody is blocking their emotions. They're blocking the truth. They want to be in a position of authority, and wherever they're at, it's that's where they're at. So it's safe to stay there, you know. Um, so this is not moving, not going. Somebody not going. They're not going. They're not moving. They're not going somewhere. Uh, somebody maybe deciding not to move. I don't know who that is. Um, somebody is deciding not to move. Not to move on or not to... Uh, hmm. Oh. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles may be the one that is not moving. She may be the one. That, I don't know what Queen of Pentacles this is. But we have a Queen of Pentacles here that is deciding not to move. Um, you now this Queen of Pentacles could be any sign. It doesn't have to be just an earth sign. It's anybody that is staying put. Somebody is staying put. They're not leaving.
this is being defeated. Somebody is in the way. There's, there is, there's somebody that is in the way and, and they they think it's a big joke. It's like, ha, ha, ha. It is. It, this is it, because with the five of swords is typically, you know, it's a big joke. It's like, ha, ha, ha. I got you. You're not going anywhere. I'm not ever leaving. You know, so this is somebody that is very, very stubborn and it could be any sign. Uh, this person is holding on for the stability, you know, the financial stability of it. Um, Now, there could be an emotional outburst ahead because there is somebody that is moving. Just saying. I mean, I don't know how this resonates with you, but uh, this is this is walk away. Needing to walk away. The Queen of Pentacles may be choosing to walk away. So we're going to change the story. We have somebody here that is choosing to walk away. Now, I don't know who, who it is. Somebody is going to be walking. You've got to be choose wisely. Now that's options. There's multiple options here, multiple choices. Be careful with your choices. Somebody is going to be walking away. And I think this person is going to be walking away because whoever they're waiting for is not coming forward. And they're not coming forward because there's another person that is blocking them from doing so. If that makes any sense. I hope it does. You know, there's somebody in the middle. There's somebody that is that wedge, okay, right in the middle of the path. This person just, it's like this person won't leave or something like that. Or somebody is just very indecisive. They may just be very confused, okay. Now, this is stop. Somebody may be trying to stop somebody from moving. This is stop, and this is moving, and this is moving. And this, so there's somebody, somebody's trying to say, somebody may be trying to stop somebody from moving. Um, five of swords, that is surrender, defeat, walk away. Uh, don't look back. Do not look back. Just go. Just go. So you have another option here. You have another option. It's a better option. Don't look back. Strength reversed. Wow, we have a lot of weakness here. No offense. This is somebody who really can't master their emotions. With the chariot reverse and the strength reverse, this is somebody whose emotions are all over the place. Really. Big time. Seriously. This is like seriously emotional. Uh, we also have uh, vulnerable and fear. A lot of fear. Fear of confrontation. Fear of rejection. Okay. Um, fear of not being good enough. Fear of not being strong enough. We may also have somebody here that doesn't like strong people, you know, likes weak people, is looking for somebody that is weak rather than strong. You know, we get that a lot. We do. We do. People will choose somebody that is weak, that they can step on, that they can belittle, you know. So that is, that's an ego problem. We definitely have ego here. So somebody likes control. They like to be in control. And that's another reason why they are staying put. Um, the strength reversed. That's feeling inadequate, lack of confidence, uh, low self esteem. We may have somebody here that has some some very low self esteem, depressed even. Now that chariot reversed is lack of discipline, lack of willpower. No, no. Uh, Ability to master the emotions, you know, so I feel like there's some sort of uh, Outburst it looks like there's an amount emotional outburst ahead maybe even a fight there What the hell there could be a fight So yeah, I feel like there is because this is a fight. It's an argument. This is a struggle some there's some sort of confrontation with an individual somebody could get really really angry and upset because they're be they're blocking the the truth or they're blocking this is a blockage of some sort. There's mm, they're being blocked from moving or something like that. Moving on. 
reluctant to take a new approach. We definitely have somebody here that is reluctant to take a new approach. Where they're at, it's really safe. But it doesn't look like there's any love, okay? There isn't any. Put it that way. Okay, it's not It's not a, a lovely situation. It's not. So we have this Queen of Pentacles that is definitely very practical. Okay, very practical. Um... All about stability, security, long term. Queen of Pentacles works hard to be successful. She's very, she's very realistic. Um, down to earth, very capable, very capable of success. We have a Queen of Pentacles that is, look, well, she has an opportunity right in her hand now, don't she? She does. It does require turning her back, okay, on something that doesn't support her. So this Queen of Pentacles has betrayal behind her back. She's been stuck or trapped or something like that. This is walking away, finding the strength that's been lacking. Somebody's been lacking self-esteem. They have. They were weak. They didn't know. They didn't know their their value. This is the queen of value right here. So we have the queen of value. Okay. This person knows their value, and they are walking away. Somebody's walking away. They're leaving. They're leaving. They have a golden opportunity. Maybe getting an offer. It's probably a big one. So somebody is getting an offer of some sort or an approval. Strength reverse. Now this is this is uh, poor health. Hmm. King of Swords. And the King of Swords is a is is a person that is very direct. Very honest, very truthful. This this person is about to. Well, he's got the sword of communication in his hand, the sword of truth. Okay, he's gonna say something. So this queen, this king of swords, is about to do something. He's made up his mind. He knows what he wants. He's made some sort of decision. This is a protector of some sort. This King of Swords is a protector. He is armor. He's he's ready to fight or something like that. So we have a King of Swords here that is I don't know, maybe somebody's angry at you. There could be some angry here with that chariot. Now that's stop. Chariot reverse anger at stop. Now this is somebody that is I think there's a message that is coming. There is a message that is coming that is very direct. It's very to the point. It's a sharp. It's sharp. Whatever it is. Somebody may be trying to stop. Because that's pointing up at stop. Saying stop. Stop. Trying to stop somebody. We have somebody here that is trying to stop somebody. And it looks like from going someplace. Which is because these are these are movement cards. Somebody's trying to stop somebody from going someplace. Somebody could get pulled over as well. Okay, just now I know I'm changing that. If somebody's out drinking and they're drinking too much and this is a choice, you could get pulled over. Just saying. I know that I just changed that story real fast, but that just popped into my head just like that. That is getting stopped. This is somebody in a military police. You know, this is somebody that definitely could be a police officer. Stopped. You drink too, drinking and driving. You're getting stopped. You're getting pulled over. So somebody could absolutely positively get pulled over. Okay? Just saying. Um, for drinking and driving. There could even be an accident with the chariot reversed. There could be. I'm just being honest with you. Um, so anyway... 
King of Swords is delivering some very factual information and it may cause a flood of emotion. Okay, just saying, because of that chair reverse and the strength reverse, that's that's like you cannot master your emotions for any reason. Okay, that is very, very, very emotional. So somebody may be receiving a message that is very factual and it hurts, okay? It's emotional, whatever it is. Um, this person is, is uh, I don't know, I don't know. That five of swords is some sort of fight, but it looks like it's a fight. And somebody could even try to get away, think it's funny and try to get away. It won't work out. They won't get very far. They won't get very far. Just saying, if you try to get away, you won't get very far. Um, interesting. Oh, God. So, there is, there is a ending here. There is an ending. This is a time of, of transition, a time of transformation. So endings lead to new beginnings. So there is going to be an ending. Something is about to end. Something is coming to an end. Somebody is going to make a choice that stops them. It stops them from doing something. It's like they shouldn't be doing that anyway. Because this is, this is the choice. It starts out with the choice and it ends... It's a big ending because this is this is a major ending. It's a major card. It's a major ending. Their choice. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. What does their choice do? Stops. Oh fuck! I just shuffled and sh and ended up on the top. Oh Jesus! So yeah, the the choice is. To end something. The choice, that's to separate. There is going to be a choice to end something very prominent. That's a profound life change. It could be a death. I mean, I don't know. This is the end. I just shuffled and it fell out on top, upright. Um, it was on the bottom just a minute ago. So that is an end. The choice is to end something. change. Death is change. The choice is to change. Now, now this is a new beginning to follow. It's an ending with a new beginning to follow. Somebody is choosing to end something that isn't really It's not a good life, okay? It's very troublesome, okay? There's, there's been a lot of trouble. There's been a lot of strife. There's been a lot of uh, turbulence. It's coming to an end. That is coming to the end. Their choices are going to determine the future, okay? Just saying. Choices are going to determine the future. Um, this Queen of Pentacles appears to be okay. I mean, she's she's solid. She's stable. She's got a golden opportunity. Uh If somebody is headed towards this person, it might be this person. Anyhow, uh, she's turned her back. She's turned her back on the struggle, on the drama, because this is drama. So, so this Queen of Pentacles has turned her back on the drama. But there is some news coming towards this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is about to receive some sort of message with that bird. There is a message coming to this person. Um... It's going to be emotional. Um, I don't know if it's news of a, I don't know, separation of some sort. Um, could be an accident. Um, death, death. The death is a major ending. Somebody's choices. There will be consequences. I started it out with consequences. There's consequences for the choices that you make. Somebody is very disappointed. They are. They're disappointed over here. Jarrett reverse, strength reverse, two of wands reverse, five of swords. Somebody's disappointed. They're disappointed with 
something. The truth? Anyhow, somebody's going to be choosing to end something that they have been staying in because it was safe. One more card. Up to. Oh, can't avoid it anymore. And I know that a bunch of everybody else going to say this is avoided disaster, but it ain't. It's only avoided for so long. Okay, you can only avoid it for so long before the universe says, okay, you're going to deal with it right now. And the time is now. Now, this is interested. Somebody has missed an opportunity. Now they're interested. Now they're seeing it. This is letting go of regret, looking forward now. It's the end of stagnation because the universe says it's time. It's time to rebuild. Anyhow, I think there's going to be a, some sort of disruption. I think it's going to be a major disruption. With the death card and the tower card, it's going to be a major disruption. Okay, and you cannot avoid it, and I don't care what anybody says. This is extreme health problems or a big, huge fight. Okay, that ends in a permanent loss. And that's what I got. Good luck. And it comes from somebody's choices. Somebody makes a choice that ends a false sense of security, a false foundation, it ends a false contract, it ends um, something that is unstable and insecure. Okay? And it ends fast. You never saw it coming. And I don't I don't know what this is. This is like all of a sudden. It is. It's very sudden. Very sudden. It's a complete shock. Extremely sudden. Um, I feel like it's a sudden departure. And whether it's a departure from a relationship or a departure from this life. I don't know what it is. But it is a sudden departure. It definitely comes as a shock. Um, somebody could get thrown out you know they get thrown out just like that they get thrown out you know don't come back you're out you know that kind of thing um, this could even be uh, whatever it is it's, it's a disaster and like I said this is it ends in it ends in uh This is a rude awakening, put it that way. Oh, uh, yeah. So. Good luck.